Alrighty guys, welcome back to Living Life 365. The day's finally here. My iPhone 15 Pro Max and 15 Pro arrived today. Funny thing about it, I pre-ordered last Friday, got up at about 4.50 in the morning because it was going to be uh, pre-orders were going to start at, I believe, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, which would be around 5 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time for me. So, woke up that early waited for it and it's finally here they promised within a week so it's the 22nd today i ordered it i believe on the was it what is it 18th 17th or the 18th one of those or seven days before that anyways so funny thing again i ordered it i was waiting all day for it expecting it looking to make this video again this is just letting you guys know it is going to be a giveaway video as far as a giving away announcement not for the phone itself but it's going to be actually for something else so anyways waited for all day then i got a no notification from ups and shopify saying it's going to be delayed till monday and i guess they decided to surprise me anyways and it came around 7 p.m tonight so let's get to the unboxing i might uh i mean i info all there pull tab packaging no more using my knife and here it is, I guess, two arrows, and they want you to have it pull up. So there you go. And here is the phone. So nothing else in the box. Throw that aside, and here it is. iPhone 15 Pro Max, designed by Apple in California, made in China, believe it or not. And everything's there, so let's get to it. Two pull tabs. I actually uh, got the natural titanium color. Uh, I believe it matches my Apple Watch Ultra from last year, so that'll be good. I did get a case for that. I'm going to do an unboxing and review of that as well. I might go naked with the phone without the case for a little bit before I do that unboxing and the 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 uh, demo for that. So again, this is the 15 Pro Max. Uh, I do have the 15 Pro as well in the, uh, I believe it's just the black. Here it is. Dynamic Island. Now that's a new thing for me because I am using still the iPhone 13 Pro. Uh, not the Pro Max as well. So the smaller version, I decided I'm going to go with the larger one. This is my wife's phone that I got her as well. Uh, I got the 512 gigabyte for both of them. Uh, we did have the 256. Now, as far as pricing goes, uh, this one for the Max, it was 2049 uh, before tax. And then I paid for the two-year Apple Care up front, which is 269 So that comes out to 2577 and 44 cents for this uh seems like a lot but believe it or not apple is giving me a trade-in value for both my iphone 13 pro phones for 615 dollars each for each device so uh it's not going to be that expensive then is they're going to give me once i trade that back in so for this the smaller one uh this one is 18.99 uh plus again that 269 for the uh apple care which i would again i would suggest anyways comes out to 2409 cents so it's really only what 170 or 160 dollar difference between the two right now uh before trade-in so anyways let's see what it comes with just the box the cut out i guess with the camera and look at that there it is just looking at it and opening at it i'm gonna say i do not regret getting this color at all because it looks super nice there is the whiter version of it but again i get the natural one it'll match my watch and just honestly this titanium and the feel of it it feels super premium so they did app i know apple did this thing where it's kind of like um brushed metal uh but you will still get fingerprints i would say more on the darker color if you kind of kind of notice it a little bit right there if i leave some fingerprints but this one you're not going to really notice it at all so let's peel this so i guess it shows the charging cord now those of you who do not know apple got rid of the lightning 
So it is now USB-C. What's in the box? It's a braided USB-C to USB-C and then just paperwork and nothing else. No charging block. So let's throw that aside. Okay, this is also new. There are no more notches or that switch thing to for silent mode. It's just a button. And as far as we go, sounds good. These ones always feel the same. Now this one, it is the mute button, but it's kind of like the action button again for the Apple Watch Ultra, which I really like. Uh, I believe for this one, you can do customize it, whether you want it to be the mute button, a shortcut to an app, flashlight, timer, alarm, anything like that. Power button's still going to be there. And what else? You got your cameras. Now the big difference between these two, I believe one of the cameras goes to three times the zoom and one is going to go to five times for the Pro Max. I got it because I film most of my videos on my phone itself. So this is going to be a great addition to it. And battery life. Better battery life. I think this is 20... Three hours on video playback, I believe. Don't quote me on that. You're going to have to look at the website. And then this is going to be 29 hours of video playback. So that's a huge difference. Uh, my 13 Pro already lasted me throughout the day. But again, this is just going to be a beast. Um, yeah, so this is still on SOS mode. Again, they come with eSIMs. So there are no more SIM popper tools. Or maybe there is. Just kidding. There is one there and one there. Anyways, I'm running an eSIM for my secondary phone line for my F13 Pro currently, and then I have a SIM for my current primary line. Speaker grills are still there, the same. Everything else is the same, and here we go. Boom. That is nice. So just holding it down to turn it on. Apple sign like normal. Um... The phones usually come with around, I would say, like an 80% charge already, but I would recommend, or Apple always recommends, fully charge it and then fully run it down and then fully charge it again. A lot of people start playing with their phone when they get it. Um, it's just to optimize the battery. It's, again, you fully charge it so it shows its full capacity of holding uh, however much milliamps it can, and then you drain it down and then fully charge again, and you're good to go. Don't know if that's still honestly true, but I still do that with all my electronics because I want to keep them good. So everything's on here. Screen, I mean, really crisp as well. You can kind of see the camera there and I can see the, uh, the separation. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, right there. So you see the camera and then the dynamic island, the whole thing. And that's going to be a speaker grill here, that little slot up here. And the bezels are just really small and thin compared to the older phones. So other than that, I mean, setup is just going to be like usual. But again, happy to do this unboxing really quickly. Super excited to use this phone. Doesn't on, I thought the phone would be huge in my hands um, compared to the 13, uh, just the Pro, not the, not the Max version. But it actually is pretty good. Um, it should fit in my pocket, or I'm just going to have to figure it out. Um, anyways, uh, announcement for the video giveaway. I'll do this quickly and just do this, uh, or turn it off. So for the video giveaway, it's going to be a $100 Amazon gift card. So it's going to be an e-gift card, and it's going to be emailed to you, whether you want it emailed, texted. It's just that code. I'm just going to email it. So what's going to be the contest is... Once I reach 500 subscribers on my channel, so uh, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell just so you uh, are aware of all my new videos. Um, leave a like and a comment as well. But again, once I hit 500 um, subscribers to my channel through this current video of the unboxing of this uh, iPhone, I am going to do the draw. Now, how am I going to figure out who wins is going to be by those likes, those subscriptions, and the comments mainly. Uh, so drop a comment. As long as you drop a comment and subscribe, we're going to do a draw. And whoever wins is going to be those random phone app draws. And it'll be announced once I hit that 500. And then I will, again, get your info to send you that $100 Amazon gift card. You can use it to buy products I've reviewed. You can also use it to buy whatever you want. It's up to you. The world is your oyster at that point. 
Again, if you haven't hit that uh, subscribe button, do it now. Hit that notification bell and a thumbs up for that like. Thanks again for that quick review and unboxing. And I may do another video down the road just to show you the durability of it. And maybe a month into it or a year. I usually keep my phones for two years, but we'll see you with this one. Right? Other than that, have a great day. Take care.